वेलकम टू फिजिक्स ऑफ टुडे इज ट्वेंटी थर्ड डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड एटीन संडे एंड हेयर आई एम विथ न्यू सेट वीडियो नाउ एज यू नो दैट वी अपलोड ए सेट वीडियो ऑन एवरी संडे एंड इट यूजली कॉन्सिस्ट ऑफ टेन सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ फिजिक्स वी जनरली अपलोड द क्वेश्चन पेपर फ्यू डेज बिफोर द डे यू अपलोड द सोल्यूशन ऑन यूट्यूब सो दैट यू कैन ट्राई टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन एंड मैच यूर आंसर्स वैन द सोल्यूशन आर अपलोडेड वन थिंग वेन एवर वी अपलोड ए वीडियो we distribute it to the into different relatable playlist so go through the playlist and you will be able to get videos as per your choice and keep a track of our community post as well it will help you to make your base strong now without any delay let's start today's set video so this is set 23 and this set contains questions from thermal and statistical physics section Question number one says a system of n distinguishable particles, which of which can be in on of the two energy levels zero and epsilon, has a total energy n epsilon, where n is an integer. The entropy of the system is proportional to. Now as you can see, two levels are there. This is one level. This is another level. Since there are two states zero and epsilon, and the total number of particles is n. with total energy n epsilon therefore we have to accommodate n particles in the state of energy e therefore n minus n particles will be there in state with energy zero okay so if small n number of particles remain in this energy state then n minus n number of particles will be in this energy state now number of ways of selecting this n number of particles among these capital n number of particles is given by ncn that is equal to this if you expand this <coughs> this you get this one therefore entropy s equal to kb ln omega well omega is the number of microstates so kb and we just put the value of omega from here and we see that s this entropy is proportional to ln n factorial by small n factorial into n minus n factorial and it is matching with option 4 so option 4 is the correct option now question number 2 in a two state system the transition rate of a particle from state 1 to state 2 is t12 and the transition rate from state 2 to state 1 is t21 in the steady state the probability of finding the particle in state 1 is so this is state 1 and state 2 and from the time taken to transit from state 1 to 2 is t12 and from 2 to 1 is t21 therefore time during which the particle will be in state 1 and state 2 are proportional to 1 by t12 and 1 by t21 okay therefore the probability of finding the particles in state 1 in the steady state is time duration of particle in state 1 by total time duration time duration of particle in state 1 plus time duration in particle in state 2 this is 1 by t12 and this is 1 by t12 plus 1 by t21 then you will get t21 by t21 plus t12 and it is matching with option 1 so option 1 is the correct option one by transition rate is the time during which the particle will remain in a state now question number 3 an ideal bose gas in di in d dimensions obeys the dispersion relation e of k equals to a k to the power s where a and s are constants for bose einstein condensation to occur the occupancy of excited state is given by this expression where c is a constant should remain finite even for uh, mu equals to 0 this can happen if now for bose einstein condensation to occur the occupancy of excited state is given by this we can write it equal to because this is the number of particles so you can write it in, in integration form 0 to infinity g d g e is the density of states now for massive particle means any particle which have some finite mass g 
of e density of states is proportional to e to the power half therefore d minus s by s equals to half because this um, energy depends the power of energy is d minus s by s so d minus s by s equal to half therefore you get from if, if it is a massive particle then you get d by s equals to 3 by 2 and if it is massless particle then g function of e is proportional to e square means d minus s by s equal to 2 therefore d by s equal to 3 so from these two cases you see that d by s is either 3 by 2 and 3 for uh, massless particles so in both the cases these values d by s is greater than 1 so this can happen only when d by s is greater than 1 so option 3 is the correct option moving on question number 4 a large number n of Brownian particles in one dimension start their diffusive motion from the origin at a time t equals to 0. The diffusion coefficient coefficients is d. The number of particles crossing a point at a distance l from the origin per unit time depends on l and t as. We know that the equation of motion of equation of Brownian motion del square p rho minus 1 by d del rho del t equals to 0 where rho is the density of particles and d is the diffusion coefficient and this equation is called diffusion equation the solution of equation 1 is given by this rho of r t equals to n by 4 pi d t to the 3 by t exponential minus r square by 4 dt this is in 3 dimension now if you like the solution if you want to know the solution in one dimension then the solution takes this form rho of x t equals to n by root to n by 4 pi d t half to the power half because for one three dimensional 3 by 2 for one dimensional half for two dimension 2 by 2 for three dimension 3 by 2 x, x exponential minus x square by 4 dt therefore number of particles per unit length so this is rho means number density number of particles per unit volume but in one dimension number of particles per unit length so this is number of particles per unit length. Now per unit time to get per unit time we have to divide this expression by t therefore it becomes t cube therefore the number of particles crossing a point at distance l from the origin per unit time is given by we have just replaced x by l and we get n by 4 pi dt cube to the power half e to the power minus l square by 4 dt now none of the options is matching with our answer but you can see the power of t is matched in the option 3 so in respect to that looking at l and t we are choosing uh, this option actually this question came in csr net and grace mark was given to all the students who attempted this so option 3 is the correct option if we don't bother about this constant 16 pi or 4 pi then option 3 is the correct option question number 5 consider three ising spins at the vertices of a triangle which interact with each other with a ferromagnetic ising interaction of strength j the partition function of the system at a temperature t is given by so this is the case three ising are placed at the vertices of a triangle partition function is given by z equals to sum over g i to the power minus beta e i the energy for the system is given by e equals to minus j i is not equal to j sigma i sigma j because we have to consider the interaction with each other so this is the form of the energy we if you expand this you get minus j into sigma 1 sigma 2 plus sigma 2 sigma 3 plus sigma 3 sigma 1 i have already discussed this problem in the video of ising model i will try to provide the link in the description you can check the description you will get you will get the link for the video for ising model now uh, sigma ij equals to plus minus one now we construct a table uh, using these different spins sigma one sigma two and sigma three first we take plus 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 then energy becomes minus three j then if you consider one of the spins to be minus one plus plus minus one minus one minus one then you will get the energies to be all plus j now we consider two spins to be minus one at a time so this this and this 
and in all those cases you will get the energy to be plus j and if you take all the spins to be minus 1 you get minus 3j okay therefore we see that uh, number of micro state is 1 2 number of uh, macro state is 1 2 3 but number of micro state number of micro state is 3 3 6 2 8 8 therefore z equals to 2 g means degeneracy now look minus 3 j minus 3 j appears twice so 2 into the power minus beta into e e equal to minus 3 j and look j plus j appears six times so six degeneracy is six six into the power minus beta into energy energy j plus j so six into the power minus beta j so twice e to the power plus three beta j plus six e to the power minus beta j so it is matching with option one so option one is the correct option moving on question number six the pressure p of a fluid is related to its number density rho by the equation of state p equals to a rho plus b rho square where a and b are constants if the initial volume of the vo fluid is v naught the work done on the system when it is compressed so as to increase the number density from an initial value of rho naught to twice rho naught is so this is the expression of p is given p equals to a rho plus b rho square therefore the work done on the system is given by w equals to integration over p into dv now v equals to n by rho number of particles divided by density so d of n by rho n is constant so come outside so minus 1 by rho is square d rho now you just put the value of p in terms of rho and you just integrate it and upon integrating you will end up with this answer minus n into a l n 2 plus b rho naught now n equal b, b naught equals to n by rho naught we have to express them in terms of the known quantities so n must be removed now n equals to rho naught into b naught so you just replace the value of n here and we got minus b rho naught b naught into a l n 2 plus b rho naught so as you can see a minus sign has been appeared here because the work done on the system when it is compressed so work has been done on the system now as you know that when work is done on the system the work done is negative that's why a negative sign has been appeared but if you take the modulus or if you take the magnitude then you will see this option is matching with option 4 this answer is matching with option 4 so option 4 is the correct option Coming to question number 7, an ideal Bose gas is confined inside a container that is connected to a particle reservoir. Each particle can occupy a dis discrete set of single particle quantum states. If the particle that a particular say, quantum system is unoccupied is 0.1, then the average number of bosons in that state is. The probability distribution for Bose gas is given by f of e i equals to 1 by e to the power alpha plus beta e i minus 1. Therefore, you can write it as 1 by e to the power beta e i minus mu minus 1, where mu is the chemical potential and alpha equals to minus mu into beta equals to minus mu by kt. The probability that a particular quantum state with energy e i is unoccupied is given by 1 minus f of e i. This is the probability of being occupied. This is the probability of being unoccupied. So, this is given to be equals to 0 0.1 therefore f of ei the probability of occupancy you got 0 0.9 means 9 by 10 and this is generally written by ni by gi so number of particles in that state is n okay so number of particles number of average number of bosons in that state is n 9 sorry 9 is the correct answer question number 7 moving on to question number 8 in low density oxygen gas at low temperature only the translational and rotational modes of the molecules are excited the specific heat per molecule of the gas is degrees of freedom f equals to my 3n minus k i have already discussed this uh, in some video i will try to provide the link so k equals to number of constants so here for oxygen gas oxygen gas means diatomic so two oxygen connected by some thing 
look here only you have to consider translational and rotational modes so means no vibrational modes if there is no vibrational modes we can take this to be rigid means this distance is fixed so number of constant becomes one and if number of constant become one so three into two minus one means five the number of degrees of freedom for this oxygen atom oxygen gas becomes five three translational degrees of freedom and two rotational degrees of freedom now we have to calculate the specific heat so before calculating a specific heat we need to know the total energy or internal energy u equals to half f kbt into na in a so if you remove na then that is for one molecule but if you multiply na then it is for one mole therefore cb equals to del u del t equals to half f kb into na now cb by na sorry it will be na cb by na specific heat per molecule equals to half f kb now if we got 5 so 5 by 2 kb so it is matching with option 4 so option 4 is the correct option now moving to question number 9 when a gas expands adiabatically from volume v1 to v2 by quasi static reversible process it cools from temperature t1 to t2 if now the same process is carried out adiabatically and irreversibly and t2 prime is the temperature of the gas when it is equilibrated equilibrated then what will be the relation so uh suppose this is the initial point this is the final point from t1 v1 to t2 v2 it has come reversibly and from t1 v1 to t2 t2 prime v2 prime now to uh, differentiate from reversible we have done this type of zigzag thing irreversible it denotes irreversible thing from first law of thermodynamics dq was to du plus dw now we have to consider only adiabatic process so no heat exchange means dq equals to zero so du equals to minus dw now du equals to ncb dt and dw equals to um, pdv or taking integration on both side we get w reversible equals to ncb to t2 minus t1 and in the same way for irreversible process we get w reversible equal to ncb t2 prime minus t1 prime now as you know that uh, uh, w irreversible is always greater than w reversible so this inequality holds and from this inequality we see that t2 prime is greater than t2 minus 2 t1 okay so t2 prime is greater than so there is some miscalculation it should be zero means it should be when this minus t1 get cancelled from both the sides so t2 prime will be greater than t2 this is a miscalculation sorry for that so option 2 is the correct option okay finally question number 10 a collection of n of non interacting spins si goes to i goes to 1 2 dot 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 n si goes to plus minus 1 is kept in an external magnetic field b at a temperature t the hamiltonian of the system is h goes to minus mu b sum over i si what should be the minimum value of mu b by kbt for which the mean value average of si is greater or equal to 1 by 3 the hamiltonian of the given system is given by this now each spin can take values plus minus 1 the energy of a spin in external magnetic field b with s equal to plus 1 and s equal to minus 1 are given by epsilon equals to minus mu beta and epsilon equal to plus mu beta respectively therefore the partition function of each spin is given by z1 equals to z1 minus beta i so this is 2 cos hyperbolic mu b into beta where beta is given by kbt the partition function for the whole system there as there are n number of non interacting spins so to the power n so to the power n cos hyperbolic mu b beta to the power n therefore helmholtz free energy equals to minus kbt ln z therefore minus n kbt ln 2 cos hyperbolic mu into b into beta now once we know helmholtz free energy we can find out the magnetization m equals to minus del v del v del a del b at constant temperature so you just take the derivative with the partial derivative differentiation with respect to b and we found that it is equals to n into mu not n to the power mu n into mu into si average value of spin si equals to tan hyperbolic mu into b into beta so this is and if you consider this to be x so it is over x minus it is over minus x by it is over x plus it is over minus x and it is given to be uh, greater equals to 1 by 3 so this whole expression 
is greater or equals to 1 by 3 now after simplifying we discover that x e to the power 2x is greater or equals to 2 therefore x equal to half greater or equals to half ln 2 so it is matching with option 3 so option 3 is the correct option so i have tried my best to provide the solutions in great detail irrespective of this if you have any doubts or confusion you can comment down below i will try my best to clarify them and any kind of suggestions are always welcome so this is all for today guys if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up make the like button blue and if you are a new visitor of this channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss any update keep sharing keep loving and keep exploring the wonders of physics and finally thanks for watching